Hello my dear baby and welcome back and so yeah this looks pretty gruesome well let's go in oh wow the gift that I offer. Hello there. Ah, look what we have here. An intruder. I bid you welcome. Care to join in our revels? I take it you are older. Oh, very observant. I'm quite impressed you're still alive. Unfortunately, that must mean he killed all of servants. them. All of ah, them. Ah, well, they are probably better off dying in the service of their betters than living with the terrible responsibility of independence. You may soon follow them. Wait, wait, wait. Let's not be hasty. I'm trying to have a civilized conversation here. Yes. Talk. A mage is but the larval form of something greater. Your chantry vilifies us, calls us abominations, when we have truly reached our full potential. Look at them. The chantry has them convinced. They deny themselves the pleasure of becoming something glorious. You're mad. There's nothing glorious about what you've become, Aldred. <laughs> Aldred? He is gone. I am Aldred, and yet not Aldred. I am more than he was. I could give you this gift to win. You and all the mages. It would be so much easier if you just accepted it. But some people can be so stubborn. I'm glad they stood up for you. And what good did that do? I still want No, you didn't. Here I am. even have the first enchanter on my side. Don't I, Irving? What have you done to him? Stop him. He is building an army. He will destroy the Templars. And you're a sly little fox, Irving telling on me like that. And here I thought he was starting to turn. Never. That's enough out of you, Irving. He'll serve me eventually, as will you. <laughs> Are you proposing a partnership of some sort? No, I think it is you who should serve me. Ha! I serve no one. No, I have plans for you. Great plans. Your raw potential, with the strength of a demon behind it, would be unstoppable. I can do that. I can give you power and a new life.
I can't let you do that. I don't think your opinion matters. That is what I've decided, and that is what will be done. Fight, if you must. It will just make my victory all the sweeter. Don't forget the litany. It will thwart Aldred's attempts to control the mages and win this fight for us. Okay. So... So let's see. He doesn't have a name to go help for. So I suppose he's... Not attackable. So we are in like the, the top of the tower or something I presume. Okay, so yeah, this litany, I had this quick slotted. Okay, let's see. Can I use this? I don't, I'm not sure what happened, but anyway, ooh, there he is. Okay, how about we do something about that? Uh, Alistair, you are on the job. Oh. I already used it. Sit now. Okay, use it again. Okay. Alistair, what are you doing? Stop laying on the job. Okay, how about with this person? Crap. Okay, I need to be in melee. Come on, you fool! Do something! Oh crap! We need 200. Oh, and frozen solid, great. Group heal. Okay, how about you fools are starting to do something? Like Alistair, stop laying on the ground. Liana. I said thinning shot. Wind. Run the hell out of there. Right. 
Oh, uh, how about you guys? No, don't switch. Run, run. Run, run. No, Larina, no. no. Did we win? Did we win? Wow, I don't have the strength for this too. But yeah, the Templar I have still they need the mental assistant probably and oh this is for majors. Wait, plus fire damage, we don't have any fire moves. Although we don't have any electricity move too, and this is better uh, armor. Anyhow. So, oh, he have orange name. Oh crap, are you, are you gonna turn into abomination? Are you all right? I've been better, but I am thankful to be alive. I suppose that is your doing, isn't it, Wynne? I wasn't alone. I had help. The Circle owes both of you a debt we will never be able to repay. Come, the Templars await. We shall let them know that the tower is once again ours. I'll need you to guide me down the stairs. Ugh, curse whoever insisted the circle be housed in a tower. <laughs> okay. Make us breath. I did not expect to see you alive. It is over, Gregor. Aldred is dead. Aldred tortured these mages, hoping to break their wills and turn them into abominations. We don't know how many of them have turned. What? Don't be ridiculous. Of course he'll say that. He might be a blood mage. Don't you know what they did? I won't let this happen again. I am the Knight Commander here. Not you. I believe all that has been restored. We will rebuild. The circle will go on. And we will learn from this tragedy. Ah, uh, it's the 18th. That, that was almost we have the right won back the tower. Element. I will accept Irving's assurance that all is well. But they may have demons within them lying dormant. Lying in wait. Enough. I have already made my decision. Thank you. You have proven yourself a friend of both the Circle and the Templars. Oh, great. Will you both uh, help me with them? Oh, yeah. I require aid for the Darkspawn. I promised you aid. 
but with the circle restored, my duty is to watch the mages. They are free to help you, however. Speak to them. Mm. So if you have to go wherever the mages are, and the mages are coming with me, it means you will come too. <laughs> The Templars guard and advise, but the first enchanter has the last word in what happens in the circle. Please excuse me. And Irving, it is good to have you back. Ah, I'm sure we'll be at each other's throats again in no time. Okay. Here we are, the tower in disarray. The circle merely annihilated. Oh, it could have been much, much worse. I am glad you arrived when you did. It's almost as though the Maker himself sent you. The, the Blight told me here to seek aid. The least we can do is help you against the Darkspawn. I would hate to survive this only to be overcome by the Blight. Yeah, but there are so few mages left. Do not underestimate us. Even one mage will be a great help to you. You have my word as first enchanter. The Circle will join the Grey Wardens in the fight. Irving, I have a request. I seek leave to follow the Grey Wardens. Oh. Win. We need you here. The Look at that Templar looking at him. I appreciate the sentiment, Irving. But the Circle will do fine without me. The Circle has you. This man is brave and good, and capable of great things. If he will accept my help, I will help him accomplish his goals. Aww, that would be great. I, I, I would be honored to have you join me. You were never one to stay in the tower when there was adventure to be had elsewhere. Why stay when I can be of service elsewhere? Then I give you leave to follow the Grey Warden. But know that you always have a place here. There is much to be done here, and I must go. You must forgive me for not being a proper host. <laughs> Goodbye. When the time comes, we will stand beside you. We not too. Mate sympathizer. Well, I am not. I am not a mate sympathizer, but okay. Pride demon. Okay. Cool. So, tell me, how did you become a Grey Warden? All how must have been my family. That can help me escape. Arl Rendon Howe? Yep. The Arl of Amaranthine? Yep. Why would he do such a thing to you? Yeah. You are... You are the last of the Kuslans? I had no idea. My lord. How will you pay for what he's done to me? Yeah, I always took my family and our name for granted. There is nothing I can say to ease your pain. I am sorry. Take heart, dear friend. You survived, even when you were not expected to. 
We do not know yet what lies in store for you, or the name you carry. It is not so bad, is it, being a Grey Warden? Hmm. Yeah, I would give it up if it meant I could see my family Sometimes again. Sometimes it gives me comfort to think that everything will end up the way it's supposed to. That it will be all right. You were chosen. You survived the joining when others did How do you know about Perhaps that? it was meant to be. How do you know about that? Isn't that a secret? Hmm, Green? I must ask, what does being a Grey Warden mean to you? It means anyone should need to show me some respect. Suppose it's about killing as many dark friends as possible. There's that, of course. But there's more to being a Grey Warden than killing darkspawn and saving the world from the blight. Ultimately, being a Grey Warden is about serving others. About serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. You bow to no one. <laughs> That's a line from Lord of the Rings. I serve no one, and don't forget. You mean to say I serve? As a say. Grey Warden, you are a guardian of men. And you guard them because their continued existence is more important than you are. Thus it is you who serves, not they. I wish I could be served instead. A good king, a true king, who cares for his land, uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. He serves his people first and foremost. The king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. I am strong enough to take power, then I deserve it. Many kings are tired. And the country suffers for it. If you live apart from others, and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. But if you have power, influence, and strength, your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. Think of how far they will go. How wide they will become. How will they affect the pond? But I've lectured enough for today. I should stop before I wear out my welcome. Hmm. Is there something you need? I didn't want to stay. The circle is in good hands. Irving knows what to do, and he doesn't need me underfoot. For now, I will support those that battle the Darkspawn. I do feel I left things unfinished in Ostagar. There is so much left to do, and I would be part of it. I still have the children. Yes, I did leave them. But if the blight is not stopped, all of them will face suffering greater than what was seen in the tower. The Grey Wardens, all two of you, need all the help you can get. I will see this through to the bitter end, and after that, if I am still left standing, then I will return to the circle. Okay. Perhaps. Is there something you need? I will answer to the best of my ability. How did you become a mage? People don't become mages. They are born mages. The talent just surfaces later. But you are asking how I ended up at the Circle. I was brought there by the Templars, just like many of the other apprentices. I don't remember very much. I was very young then. What about the family? I didn't have a family. I never knew my real parents. My earliest memory was of hiding in a hayloft on a farm, trying to keep warm. I was found. 
and the farmer's wife was kind enough not to send me away. But they had children of their own, and I was never made to feel welcome. The eldest son was the worst. He was always calling me a stray, and throwing anything he could get his hands on at me. And I don't know how it happened, but one day, he just found his hair on fire. Fortunately, there was a large trough nearby. First, him right. He ran screaming, dripping head and all, to his mother. I was shut up in the barn with a bowl of water and a crust of hard bread. The Templars arrived several mornings later. Did the Templars mean to you? One of them ignored me. But the other was kind to me. He gave me sweets and even sat me on his shoulders once when I wanted to look over a high wall that ran along the road. I'll never forget the moment the Templars led me into the entrance hall of the tower. I had never seen anything so grand in my life. I stopped being afraid then. I knew I was home. Well, <coughs> all there is to my tale, that's how I came to the circle. What was life like in the tower? I would be lying if I said it was easy. First, there were rules, and we were constantly watched to make sure we behaved appropriately. Then there was the study of magic. We had to cast the spells just so, control the effects completely. A single word spoken incorrectly, a gesture out of sync, and lack of focus. And we needed to have perfect focus, or we would be in danger. Danger from what? From fade spirits. If we were careless, they would enter our minds, and we would become abominations. Without the circle and my mentors, I would not have been where I am today. And there was joy in life at the circle. The joys of fellowship, in knowing that you were not alone in your struggles. In spite of everything, I was happy in the tower, and I loved it. Oh. Is there something you need? I will answer to the best of my ability. Okay. What do you need? Anything you want, Easter? Ask away. No. And Laliana? Yes? Something you need? Yes? What's on your mind? Okay. I wish I could have gone with them. To fight. My men have scouted the tower. It's a mess, but the abominations are gone. You are very thorough. I'm impressed. Yeah. In no time. Hmm. Doubtful. But it doesn't hurt to be optimistic sometimes. I shan't keep you then. Farewell. Okay. Quarter master, I can sell all our all, all my stuff. You really killed all those abominations. I didn't think it was possible. I thought we'd all die here. I'm sure you need supplies after that. No, I actually uh, want to sell all my crap to you. I mean, this acid flax too. It, it's a granite, right? But I, I never used it, so it just. Greater health processes, lesser health processes. Let's just sell these. Injury kit. Come on. Anyhow, let's just see what I can do. Lesser living potions. That would. Demonic. Demonic icor. Spirit shard. All of these are cluttering up my inventory. That tooth, flask, deep mushroom, air food, and touch theater. I, do I do I need this? No. The warden's long sword. As pretty it is, it, it's really you know useless now. Tier two. 
so yeah, I just sell it. The Imperium crossbow, we need 30 strength for it, so this could come in play with Alistair. Piece of wood. Yeah, between now in the party, um, yeah, I, I don't see how um, I can get Morrigan in, so I can sell Morrigan stuff too. Yeah, this is a good team actually. Larian a dedicated archer, Alistair dedicated a tank, Wink can heal, I can be both archer and, and be a secondary uh, warrior if, if we need be. So yeah, I will sell. I mean, should I sell this? Maybe not. Maybe wait with it. All of these crafts, I don't need a Templar helm. I mean, it's just a massive helmet. Two armor for three percent fatigue. Doesn't feel right, right? Chair mid. All of this armor, heavy chain mail, Templar armor, heavy plate armor. Well, it is, it is better uh, than the Templar armor, but the Templar armor have also all, all of those buffs. So, but yeah, this is also something very expensive. So maybe don't just sell it. Oh yeah, this Howard's Aegis Howard was a um, legendary person, and so this should be like a super cool weapon. But yeah, it, it's worth almost a gold, but it, it's once again it's just a tier 3 shield, it's no longer useful. The Templar shield that Alistair starts out with, it, it, yeah, it's now pretty useless, isn't it? So I sell it. The Archon ropes. Inferior to what Win is wearing. Hmm. <laughs> the chanty rope is literally just nothing. Okay, maybe don't sell it. The apprentice cows. Oh yeah, they are useless. Hmm. This is maybe something for Dogo and this is too. All of these amulets are inferior to what we have. And then these rings. Well now I got a silver ring, so I guess the iron ring is really nothing now. Let's just sell all of them. And these rooms and then these gifts. Trade manifest. I don't know if any of these come into play and these crystals. Hmm. And they sell for crap. They sell for crap. However, they do clutter up my inventory. Each one of them is one. And the warp pet, yeah. Okay. 57 out of 90. Anything you can sell is probably useless to me. I'm the injury kit, maybe. No, actually, no. And do this blessing 100 gold. Oh, and the backpack for 6 gold. Yeah, I, I don't think I will spend money on that. Okay. So. Yeah, this injury kit. Uh, Here's three, uh, up to three injuries, but well, usually I, I only once Leliana was knocked down, and that, that had one injury, and I also have this 18 injury kit, so yeah, do I really need this? No.
Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have finished up the silk the diamond, I guess. The watch guard of bleaching fight page for Hmm. We all argue with this one. The watch guard of bleaching. <sighs> yeah, I will end the episode. Here I am. I'm a little tired and I have to go to work quite soon. So yeah, uh, I hope you had fun. We had cleared the tower of the abominations and we had the alliance of the majors. So they will come and help us. So that's great. And Vin is with us. That's great too. So yeah, I hope you had fun. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I sold all the uh, hats. I was thinking, okay, now that I am no longer here, we don't need these tinfoil hats anymore. But I sold all the uh, helmets. So yeah, we will keep wearing the tinfoil hats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I could have talked about it earlier and and yeah, at least we don't have enough strength for these armors. Well, okay, this is, you know, people will see, oh, these are the team for team for your society members that cleared out the circle with the from the abominations. And look, this lady have federally team firewall hat. How cool they look. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, uh, this is where I will end the episode. I hope you enjoyed that Team Foil Society enjoyed it. So yeah, uh, let's continue next time. Bye bye.